And blessings. Thank you for joining Master Chef in the Kitchen Lab for more flavor and season recipes. Today we are going to make some tacos. These are going to be keto tortillas. We are trying this out for the first time. We'll see how this works out. So yeah, let's get started. I have my um, coconut flour and I have I will have the link in the uh, in the description box below in the measurements and the ingredients. You know how we do. So I and I'm just going to um, put in my dry ingredients. I got some psyllium husk. I have some baking powder and some sea salt, some pink Himalayan sea salt. And I'm going to combine this. Just stir it. I have my little helper here that thinks he's the, sh the master chef in the house. Okay. I'm going to add my oil. And I have my warm water. So I'm just going to get us a mix. And that coconut flour eats up everything. <laughs> Parchment paper. Put me some in the middle here. I'm just gonna put some parchment paper on top. Press it. I hope it formed right. <laughs> Let's see how it formed. It's very cool. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And this is about a an eight inch presser. You can also roll this out on two sheets of parchment paper, and then just put a plate around it and cut it out with the size you want. You might want them bigger. You might want them smaller. Whatever size you feel. You and your family walk. So let's take this to the stove and see how this do. Okay, we got our skillet uh, nice and hot here. And don't put too much oil because we don't want to really fry it. We want it just to... And do it about two minutes on each side. Okay, guys, I switched skillets here. Let's see. And we got ourselves a tequila or a flatbread or whatever you use it for. And we're just going to put our next one in the pan here. I cooked that one a little longer than expected. This one here. I'm not supposed to have this on a nonstick pan. Don't try this at home, you guys. Don't do it too. My next one here. And just let that cook for two minutes on each side. Prepared our side items with our um, toppings. Some salsa, some guacamole, some lettuce, shredded lettuce, some shredded cheese, and some sour cream. And we just flipped our last tortilla. We made about one, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. We made about seven. The recipe calls for five, but I doubled the recipe. Okay, we're about to make the stuff for the meat. I have um, some mini peppers here and some uh, half of a little uh, tomato. Just a small tomato because, you know, on keto you can't have any tomatoes. And I have uh, about a quarter of an onion. And I have some little mushrooms. You don't have to put mushrooms in yours. I just had some in the refrigerator that I was trying to get rid of. And I'm going to put them in here and puree these and mix these in with the meat mixture. Now we're going to put our 
ground turkey in here or you can use ground chicken or ground beef or whatever type of ground meat you want to use. And also our sausage, this is turkey sausage, breakfast sausage. Okay, I'm going to break this up. seasoning mixture. This is my taco seasoning mixture. I'm going to add it to my pan here. I have some puree garlic. Put it in there. You can do minced garlic if you like. Mix everything together real good. Add your puree, and this gives it a lot of flavor. Oh my goodness, when I tell you flavor. You should smell how good that puree smells. It smells good in here. And just mix it around and let this, let your meat mixture cook until everything is not pink anymore. So about hmm, five to seven minutes. All right, guys, there you have it. I'm going to turn my pan off here. It smells so good in here. I'm about to let you guys see me assemble one. All right, I'm gonna take me a tortilla. And put me some of my taco filling in here. See, it's flexible, like a real taco tortilla. Let me put some. I love cold toppings. <clears throat> My toppings are really cold. Some shredded cheese. Some shredded lettuce. And also, I want me some sour cream. I love me some sour cream. Get some sour cream up here on top. A dollop of daisy. And of course, I have to give me some guacamole. Okay. Give me a little guac. And I'm going to enjoy this, baby. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please let me know what I can make next. Oh, taste and see. Look at those layers of goodness in there. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Blessings.